Welcome to the Step Point of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is also called cobalamin. It is a cofactor used in methionine synthase and methylmalanoyl CoA mutase. Methionine synthase is used to transfer methyl from N5-THF to homocysteine, which produces methionine and THF. The methionine can be used to make proteins or s adenosyl methionine, which is a cofactor that can transfer methyl groups for anabolism, or SAM can make s adenosyl homocysteine, which can lose adenosine to create homocysteine, which can enter the cycle once again, or become cysteine by vitamin B6. Methylmalanoyl CoA mutase will turn methylmalanoyl CoA into succinyl CoA, which is used to make heme by vitamin B6 or enter the TCA cycle. It is fatty acids with an odd number of carbons and branch chain amino acids which are used for the source of methylmalanoyl CoA. B12 is synthesized only by microorganisms. The liver can store a large amount of B12 for three to four years. A deficiency in B12 is caused either by malabsorption, such as celiac disease, enteritis, diphilobotherium latum, a tapeworm caught by eating undercooked fish, enchloridia, a deficiency of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, bacterial overgrowth in the gut, and excess consumption of alcohol. A deficiency can also be caused by lack of intrinsic factor caused by pernicious anemia or gastric bypass surgery, an absence of the terminal ileum. This is the portion of the intestine that absorbs much of the B12. It may be absent because of surgical resection from Crohn's disease. Certain drugs like the anti-diabetic drug metformin or having a diet like veganism, which is low in B12. Pernicious anemia is caused by antibodies produced against intrinsic factor. Thus, finding anti-intrinsic factor antibodies in a blood test will reveal pernicious anemia. In both B9 and B12 deficiency, they present with macrocytic megaloblastic anemia and hypersegmented polymorphonuclear cells. However, while B9 lab results show an increase of homocysteine and normal methylmalonic acid levels, a B12 deficiency lab shows an increase in both homocysteine and methylmalonic acid levels, combined with stage 2 folate deficiency. A B12 deficiency can cause subacute combined degeneration in which the spinal cord, specifically the dorsal column, lateral corticospinal tracts, and spinocerebellar tracts, degenerate. This is from the body producing abnormal myelin from the B12 deficiency. Paresthesia can result from the degeneration. A prolonged B12 deficiency can result in irreversible nerve damage. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of you. We'll see you in the next video.